there's no one in the front seats. Waymo team members chose three separate destinations, pressed the start button in the car, and the vehicle did all the rest, choosing what route to take, when to turn, when to yield, and everything in between. That's full, true autonomy. If that ride looked ordinary to you, then we're one step closer to our ultimate goal, to make the extraordinary completely ordinary. We want the experience of traveling with Waymo to be routine, so that you want to use our driver for your everyday needs. And this wasn't just one, a one-time ride or just a demo. What you're seeing now marks the start of a new phase for Waymo and for the history of this technology. We're test driving these fully self-driving vehicles in a part of the Phoenix metro area in Arizona. Over time, we'll expand to cover the entire Phoenix region, an area much larger than Greater London. And our ultimate goal is to bring our fully self-driving technology to more cities in the U.S. and around the world. Fully self-driving cars are here. Now the question you may be wondering, how soon can we all get a ride? <laughs> well, in the next few months, members of the public will get to experience these fully self-driving rides too. The first passengers will be people who are part of our early rider program, which is a public trial already underway in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, since the beginning of this year, our early riders have been using our fleet and the test driver at the wheel to go to work, school, soccer practice, and more. Soon, they'll be able to make these trips in a fully self-driving car with Waymo as their chauffeur. So how did we get here? How did we get to a point where we were ready to take the driver out from behind the wheel? Well, there is a driver, Waymo, and Waymo needs to be capable, reliable, and safe. And this takes time and experience. First, we needed a vehicle that was well suited for our needs. Fiat Chrysler had just the thing for us. The Chrysler Pacifica you see on stage with me. It's a plug-in hybrid minivan with power sliding doors and a top safety rating. We outfitted our cars with an array of hardware, including a powerful AI compute platform, along with lasers, camera, and radar. We developed these entirely in-house. This is the most advanced vehicle that we've developed to date. Everything in it, everything, is designed and built for full autonomy. Our combination of powerful sensors gives our vehicles a 360 degree view of the world. The lasers can see objects in three dimensions up to 300 meters away. We also have short range lasers that stay focused on things close to the car. And our radars can see underneath and around vehicles, even tracking moving objects hidden from the human eye. And we have high resolution vision systems that allow our vehicles to see in a wide variety of lighting conditions, ranging from an unlit parking lot in the middle of the night to the blazing sun at sunset. And with our hardware engineers working side by side with our software team and our AI experts at Waymo, we're able to design everything to work together seamlessly. So those are some of the things you can see. But there are also some that you can't, which are critical to a fully self-driving vehicle. Now to have a car on public roads without a person at the wheel, we built in some unique safety features. For example, our system runs thousands of checks on itself every second. With these checks, our systems can instantly diagnose any problem and pull over to a safe stop if needed. But for more critical driving functions, we go a step beyond that and add in secondary systems. Today, all of our minivans have backups for steering, for braking, computing, and power. We then take all of this technology through what we'd like to think is the world's longest, toughest, ongoing driving test. In the last eight years, Waymo's vehicles have driven more than five and a half million autonomous kilometers on public roads. And that's across more than 20 cities. It's about 140 times around the globe. We've also practiced rare and unusual situations we might encounter on our private test track. A mock city, really, complete with traffic lights, railway crossings, roundabouts, and high-speed roads. 